Hi, hi everyone. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as always. Welcome to another daily devotion from the San Fernando Open Bible Church. Sister Peggy is my name and we've been discussing the presence of the Lord, how to manifest the presence of the Lord. I want to encourage us again that the presence of the Lord is a, the most awesome treasure that we can have to carry the manifest presence of God. To have God manifest himself to us, especially in times of need, in times of sorrow, in times when we need comfort, we are never without the Holy Spirit, never without his comfort, his love, his support, his power, and all that good stuff. So how do we maintain that presence of God? I want to tell you how, by ensuring that we constantly carry with us the fear of the Lord. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 33 that the fear of the Lord is our treasure. What is the fear of the Lord? Not to be afraid of God. I want to say to us, if we are in right standing with the Lord, we have nothing to fear. If we make an error, we, we sin. Let's not call it error. If we sin, we can go to God and we can always find forgiveness. He's merciful. So we don't need to be afraid of him. But what we do need is to ensure that we are in love with him, that we are in awe of him. How do we do that? Maintain this fear of the Lord by knowing that God is with us constantly. So he sees everything. He knows everything. And I want to live in such a way that I honor him. I honor his presence with me. I honor the fact that he's seeing me, he's hearing me. And I want to live in such a way that I please him. That's how we maintain the fear of the Lord. So that keeps us from sinning. That keeps us righteous and holy before him. I also want to remind you that God has not left us without a record of his dealings with man. He's not left us without, without a record of his dealings with us. God has a track record and his track record is good. Hallelujah. He has a track record of being good to us, merciful, kind, generous, supportive. Let's not forget who he is and let's maintain that holy reverence, that holy awe of who this God is. And in doing that, we maintain the presence of the Lord. I don't want to sin. I don't want him to see me doing wrong. I don't want to displease him. I don't want to dishonor him, especially in the eyes of others. Amen. I want to say to us also that David, he operated wisely in his own home. So regardless of where I am, whether it's in my private domain or out in public at church, I maintain the presence of the Lord. I maintain the respect, the awe, the honor for God and his presence will always be with me. I can guarantee that for me and for you. So I want to encourage us this week to really be purposeful in the way in which we live. It's called purposeful living. We live to honor him. We live to glorify him. We live to maintain the fear of the Lord. God bless you all.